This tutorial show you how to use a uh, tap pane and taps. Uh, so if you have a uh, multiple tabs, you should be able to browse uh, from tab one to tab two, or uh, you may report the index value zero or one. Let me add a um, package name so that we can avoid a uh, class not found error. Okay, JavaFX has uh, multiple layouts. One of them is called as anchor pane, but we are going to use uh, tab panes and uh, multiple tabs maybe uh, can be used. So in this case, I may use two tabs. Tap panes comes with two tabs, so if you really need one more or multiple tabs, then you can simply drag and drop tab to uh, tap panes. So you should be able to add uh, additional tabs. But for now, I will stay with the two tabs. Um, you can browse tabs uh, with these tab panes. So if you look at left hand side. At hockey, uh, you should be able to see one tab on the tab pane. Then uh, you should be able to name it as uh, whatever you want. Uh, default is tab one and tab two. Obviously, I'd like to use um, something more specific. For the tab label, you may name it something more specific, for, but for now, uh, FX ID. For untitled tab one, I will call it as a tab one, and then uh, untitled tab two, I will call it as a tab two, so they can repose to each other. Okay, for demonstration, I will add two label and uh, two text field, and then one button on the first tab called Untitled Tab 1. For the second tab, uh, called Untitled Tab 2, I will add uh, one text area and one button. Okay, after I confirm outputs, then when I click the button on tab 2, I should be able to go back to tab 1 as well. So here, simple idea is, uh, let me get number 1 and number 2, and two inputs. Then when I click the button, it will sum two numbers. And the actual output will be um, up here on text area. So main ID is all this FX ID, which is a reference variable. And these are all available with these same applications. So in other words, you can repose to each other. Just make sure you follow the convention called uh, TF for text field, uh, label for LBL, button for BTN, then um, text area for TA, so that you can repose to each other. Okay, I'll call uh, TF number two and uh, BTN sum. Okay, this application there will be two buttons. The this button we call as a sum. So I will name it as a um, sum button handler. I may name the other one as a button return handler. So each button does uh, certain things. Uh, for this button, I'll call button return. So when I click it, I can go back to first step. So then I can play with uh, two different inputs. 
connection our courier has a return button handler. So here's the explanation. Once we have an input 100, 200, when I put, click the button, it will go to tab 2 and display output 300. And uh, when I pl click another button on tab 2, it will go back to tab 1. Let me rename a uh, uh, tab, tab name. So that will be more uh, meaningful. I will call it as a sum. Then uh, second tab. I will call it as a informations. Once you make a new controller, you should be able to see uh, all object names on your left hand side screen on the members and uh, you just follow the convention uh, tf, bt, and, and ta and so on so it should be easy to remember name of objects okay i'll just remove all label and all implementations so that I can start with um, some button handler then a return button handler um, we actually cover this uh, text field. So main idea is just get two inputs, then uh, then uh, we deal with the double values. Then we process it uh, with some two numbers. So you, you may need to do type casting and then send the um, output to a text area. That means you have to do type casting again um, to string value from double. Uh, let me just add some comments so that uh, those who just jump to um, this tutorial, um, you should be able to follow what's going on here. Um, Okay, once you learn this program, um, it will do only one thing. Calculate the number one plus number two and uh, display output. You won't be able to see on tab one, but if you switch to tab two, you should be able to see output. 
So I'll show you how to select the tab uh, from tab 1 to tab 2. It, it seems like uh, we are switching tabs, but it is actually not. Uh, we are just selecting um, index number, which is um, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So um, if you're on uh, first tab, index value is 0, then if you move to tab, second tab, the index value is number 1. So that we can actually use the index value, but personally I prefer to use my uh, uh, reference variable. Uh, my first tab I call it as a tab 1, then my second tab I call it as a tab 2. So I will use the uh, reference variable name referring to uh, each tab. Okay, here um, I think I forgot to name uh, tab pane. So let me uh, use the tab pane um, called TP because each tab belongs to tab panes. Then um, when you say TP, it should have a, a reference variable attached to a tab pane, which I forgot to do so. So let me just fix it. So now you select tab pane and then uh, you can put fx id which is a reference variable to this tab pane. Okay, now once you make a new controller, uh, the error message will disappear. Okay, tab pane and get selection model. Then uh, method name is select and then name of the object. So we can do the same implementation for return button handler. So tp dot get selection model. Then select, then tap should be one. Then uh, I think I have to go back to line number 66 and then change to tap two. Anyway, let me finish this implementation, then I will go back. So tap one is, um, we name it as a sum. The second tab we name is uh, informations. So here supposed to be a TP get selection model dot and then select um, name of the object supposed to be tab one. And then uh, previous implementation should be tab two. Okay, let me add one comment before I launch uh, these applications. Okay, let me try with two numbers, uh, 10.2 and uh, 20.2. So let me click some. See, you can see I'll put 30.4 on text area. When I return, when I click the return buttons, it will go back to tab one. Let me try again, and uh, now 700. Let me quickly demonstrate how to add additional tab. 
So you just go to container, drag and drop one tab. Then um, if you want, you can na name your your tab. Then uh, you can name for the FX ID. For now, I will uh, just skip. Then I will just save it and make a new controller. Then I will show you uh, whether it actually appear on our application or not. Now you can see uh, the sort tab up here. That's all for this tutorial.